This is Hilary from Aquafortis Astrology and this is the astrology forecast for the third week of August going from the 12th to the 18th of August 2019. We start with Monday, 12th of August 2019 at 04.27 UTC plus 2 when Uranus starts its very slow smashing and bashing backwards to the zodiac. Uranus is going retrograde, it's not a big deal. Uranus has very long retrograde periods. It does become a big deal if you have planets or sensitive points in between 6 and 2 degrees of Taurus, Scorpio, Leo and Aquarius, because then Uranus will be smashing and bashing on them several times. Uranus returns direct on the 9th of January 2020. Before I continue with the forecast, I would like to point out something important that is happening. For all this month, Venus, like Mars and Mercury, they have been traveling very near the Sun and they will continue to do so for the rest of the month. This means that it's practically impossible to see these planets in the sky. So as above, so below, direction in our lives is hidden from us. It also means that these planets are undergoing a purification rite in the Sun and the ending and the beginning of a new cycle. Mars has its two years initiation cycle on the 27th of July 2019. Now it is Venus time, in September it would be Mercury's time. A lot is being seeded just now in this particular moment in time. The soil has been primed by all the major resetting we had in June and July, and it is now receiving the new passions to guide us to the next phase. However, although there is much going on, this is a hidden fire working behind the scenes. Bearing in mind that Mars is how we take action in life, Venus is how we attract things to us, and Mercury is how we think, that is a huge portion of our lives that is hidden from us. So if you can't understand something, take your time. Things will become clearer as the month proceeds. So coming back to what's happening in this week. On the 14th of August 2019, Venus will be meeting the Sun at 0807 UTC plus 2 at 2111 of Leo. Venus has now finished its purification rites and meets the heart of the Sun to receive new instructions. Use the 14th of August to see something that you would like to attract in your life and see it flourishing in the following months. On the 15th of August 2019, we have two events. The first one is Mercury finishing completely the area of the zodiac that he's been going up and down and starts moving, finally, into new areas. This means we have completely done and dusted the June-July 2019 problems, or at least a part of them, and ready to move forward. The second event is the full moon in Aquarius at 1430 UTC plus 2 at 22 degrees 24 of Aquarius. Moon in Aquarius is a moon that finds himself in some awkward positions. Under Saturn's household, logic is what is looked at first. And logic is not really Moon's favorite thing to do. Saturn, the household ruler, although happy to be in his house, he is sharing the bed with the lunar nodes and Pluto and Capricorn. And they are not great company at all. So the other Saturn's household, that is Aquarius, where the Moon is passing, it's not having a happy time either. And this increases the Moon's discomfort. The moon finds himself being pulled to see what's on the other side by Mercury, Sun, Venus and Mars and Leo. Mercury is how we communicate and think. Sun is how we look and perceive life. Venus is how we bring together things. And Mars is how we take action. All these parts of our lives are radiating light and fire all over the place. But to bring something to completion, we need to integrate what the moon in Aquarius is trying to say, even if we might not like it. Keep in mind what we have said before. A huge portion of our lives just now are in frenetic motion, but the road is not clear at all. This makes even more awkward the integration needed. 
it is easy to give in to the enthusiasm of fire and forgetting that there are things we still do need to work on. The full moon in Aquarius is reminding us that it is tough applying discipline when we just want to run with it all. It is a delicate balance between having faith in ourselves, be ready to shine our light into the world, yet knowing that the universe has its own schedule and things will happen when it is due time. On the 16th of August 2019, at 19.07 UTC plus 2, Mercury in Leo and Uranus in Taurus have a quarrel. There is something we are adamant about that is being challenged by change. Since Mercury is involved, it may be something that has to do with our thought patterns. Being in Leo, fixed fires, we are talking about thought patterns we feel very strongly about and are, we are not keen to change them at all. Yet Uranus in Taurus is jamming the pro pro progress and the process, throwing spanners in the wheels and jolting us out from that pattern. Uranus in Taurus is saying to Mercury in Leo, think practical and down to earth and down the, downright bizarre. Not an easy one, but the more we resist, the worse it becomes. On the 18th of August 2019, at 0718 UCT plus 2, Mars is the first one, as usual, to enter the house of Virgo. This changes completely our mode of action in the world. Mars is, I want that, I go and get it. Under the rule of Mercury, in a practical, ever-changing Virgo, this Mars becomes a fine tool of precision that can chisel away what is superfluous until what makes sense comes out. With the entry of Mars in Virgo, we are entering a new phase of the month, where the fire slowly settles down to a more problem-solving oriented energy. That will also be having the make a different call from Uranus and Taurus. So to summarize, this week will help us define some things in our lives, especially long-term projects that we really value. Not everything is smooth sailing, but we feel that there is a force that is sustaining us, although things are not clear completely. There is a lot of work to do, but in our hearts we can feel that we are on the right track. Blessed full moon in Aquarius, and happy holidays for those who are in the holiday season. Should you need any guidance of how to navigate these energies, I'm available for private consultations. Before you go, let me know what you think. Thumbs up, share and subscribe to my page. Bye for now and good luck. Bye-bye.